With her dreams of becoming an artist and her sketchbook filled with vibrant images, she painted life the way she saw it, full of color and wonder. With her dreams of becoming an artist and her sketchbook filled with vibrant images, she painted life the way she saw it, full of color and wonder. However, as the years went by, the flicker of her brilliance began to dim, and the shadows creeping in from the corners of her mind manifested into something unsettling. It started with little things. She'd sketch a figure in the park, strangely elongated and with dark, hollow eyes, just as she'd see it at first, only to forget the inspiration moments later. Occasionally, she'd hear voices that echoed in her head, whispering secrets she could never grasp. At first, she thought it was just her artist's mind working overtime, but the whispers grew more insistent and jarring. Friends noticed Sophie's growing detachment, her laughter faded, and long conversations turned into short snippets filled with nervous glances. One Saturday morning, Sophie decided to visit her grandmother, who had recently started showing symptoms of dementia. The old woman often sat in her dimly lit room, speaking to the shadows that danced upon the walls. Sophie assumed it was just a product of her mind slipping away, but as she listened, Sophie felt an eerie connection to her grandmother's mutterings. They're here with us, can't you see them? Her grandmother would mumble, pointing into the corners of the room. Most days, Sophie dismissed it as confusion, but today, she stared into the darkened corners, feeling a prickling sensation crawl up her spine. After that visit, things spiraled quickly for Sophie. She began seeing flickering shapes in her peripheral vision, whispers turned into guttural discussions that seemed to come from nowhere, and soon, the once bright colors she painted with shifted to hues of ominous grays and blacks. Her sleep became a battlefield of nightmares, filled with manic laughter and twisted faces, each more grotesque than the last. Desperate for clarity, she searched online, her heart racing as she read descriptions of schizophrenia and its haunting symptoms. It felt as though the words were calling to her, beckoning her deeper into the darkness of her own mind. Everyone is afraid, Sophie. They don't understand the beauty within chaos, the voice coiled through her thoughts one fateful night while she sat at her desk, trembling. She glanced in the mirror, expecting the familiar reflection to stare back at her, but the girl in the glass looked haunted. Her eyes were wide, pupils dilated, and her skin seemed almost translucent. As the weeks wore on, Sophie began isolating herself. She quit her job, stopped attending her art classes, and seldom answered texts or calls from friends. Instead, she devoted her time to her new obsession, a massive canvas that loomed over her like a beast. It was unlike anything she had created before. As she painted, frantic strokes mixed with splashes of paint formed chilling images of gnarled trees, shadowy figures, and disjointed mouths that smiled without mirth. Each morning, she would wake up to see her progress, but the images reminded her of her grandmother's ramblings, figures lurking in the shadows, watching and waiting. The swell of fear entwined with a strange sense of liberation, she was releasing something deep within her, but what? She felt as if the canvas was alive, whispering secrets from the darkness. One night, in a fit of manic energy, Sophie confronted the figure in her reflection. You are not me, she shouted, tears streaming down her cheeks, but the girl in the mirror only smiled back, a knowing expression painting her face. For the first time, Sophie truly questioned her own reality. Was she losing control, or was she finally seeing clearly? Then came the night her pieces hung in her mind like specters in a gallery. She decided to showcase her artwork at the local community center, hoping for salvation, or at least validation. She gathered her work and meticulously hung each piece, feeling both dread and excitement. Guests arrived, and whispers filled the room as they gazed at her creations. She overheard them discussing how disturbing and unsettling the artwork was, their laughter mingling with her own rising panic. Suddenly, an overwhelming sense of dread sank into her heart. The whispers she struggled against grew deafening, drowning out the voices of the crowd. Sophie stumbled back, her chest tightening. The figures from her art seemed to leap off the walls, merging into a haunting panorama. In the chaos, she ran from the gallery, the voices swirling around her like a tempest. Outside, the cool night air hit her like a slap, but the eerie silhouettes lingered in her mind. Sophie couldn't tell if they were real or an echo of her unraveling sanity. Days blurred into weeks, and Sophie vanished from the lives of those who loved her.
The echoes whispered forever within her, a mind battling its shadows. The art community forgot her name, the gallery collecting dust, and her grandmother in that distant house faded into the frayed tapestry of memory. Sophie became a spectral figure, navigating a life painted in twilight shades, forever pursued by the very uncanny art she once created. As the colors around her faded to black, so too did her hopes of ever escaping the tangled web of the echoes within.